All right, guys, here we go. We're going to take a quick look at the micro silver futures. And really, outside of holding uh, physical silver, physical gold, for example, this is the easiest, uh, simplest, purest play on silver that you can do, in my opinion. And let me break it down and show you. Right now, obviously, we are short. And we have three contracts. Uh, we're holding or controlling uh, 3,000 ounces of silver for a little over $6,100, okay? And so far, you know, as you can see, we're uh, pretty deep in the money. And we're simply uh, looking for this key level uh, to be hit before we start scaling out of our short position and going long. And that's another, you know, real interesting, uh, real neat thing about the micro silver futures that you can go long or short the market, depending on obviously which direction it's going. And then take those profits, if, if you so wish, and buy more physical, okay? Because when you're sitting here with physical, it's hard to, you know, send it back in, short it, so to speak. You know, it's all, actually almost impossible, okay, <laughs> to do that and catch the highs and the lows. So the micro, you know, silver futures allow you to do that with both, you know, obviously uh, silver and gold. And sh shameless plug, we have a introduction to micro uh futures uh below link below and it's also 50 percent off so you can delve in and you know get your own training and education in that area but uh right now what we're looking at is a potential uh near term uh bottom coming in around 21 dollars we have two factors one being the 200 the other one being a significant uh measured move here that's in the course as well as our patreon members know about this but to start off how it all began was that we were in a it what's called an inside bar basically sideways consolidation zone and as you can see by the gold arrow uh looking at this one uh candle bar and then you just simply wait for a price to break out to the upside or downside and then you follow the market because you know obviously just like mother nature the market's undefeated now because of a couple of little tricks, we were able to, on this head fake, on this fake out candle here, that was green all the way to the top. A lot of people, retail people that don't know the tricks of Wall Street were thinking we were going to break out and continue up to possibly, you know, 25, 30 bucks. But, you know, because of a couple of, you know, significant uh, factors that we were looking at, we knew uh they were going to do the opposite because the market always does what hurts most okay most meaning the number of people and most meaning uh the most amount of uh, investment dollars that people have out there so we you know help people uh control that and and put the odds in their favor and one of those techniques is to have you know two or more pieces of information factors identifications to go in on if you have two or more things in your favor, which, you know, we teach you how to find and look for, then you have an 83 to 87% chance of success, okay? And then, you know, kind of going back in time a little bit, kind of show you how we caught the breakout here. Again, another inside bar, just like we showed you on the green candle above with the gold arrow, this was a red uh, candle bar, obviously. And normally they break out on the fifth uh, candle. And matter of fact, uh, kind of off topic, but you can, to prove that, you can go and they're, well, more importantly, they're follow through back to the upside after that fifth candle is broke, has broken out. And you go to the daily chart on Bitcoin very recently, and I'm not going to give it all, all away, but you can look for sideways consolidation that on the fifth candle, it broke out. And then we had a huge uh, follow through uh hint hint yesterday okay so right here as you can see inside bar inside that red candle everything trading it doesn't matter if you wick over to wick under everything's trading in here and just wait for the breakout or breakdown uh that was the first one then we had a our famous uh there's people that make live a living just off this trade setup a two down one up uh right here and another two down one up on this candle there just, you know, for example, uh, some techniques you can uh, use and learn. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, we're looking for this uh, significant price level down here to be hit. Maybe a little dip below 
21 to kind of, you know, offset the uh, uh, shorts, get them to pile in, you know, a little head fake there. Uh, similar to this candle here where the longs got sucked in. Uh, they'll probably do it down here as well. And then also, all of this quite honestly is going to be contingent on when the DXY US dollar currency index hits uh, resistance, okay? And we're looking for that to be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, we could get a drift as high as, you know, up to 105, that, that whole round even number, but possibly in the end term, uh, we could hit some resistance, pull back, which could, you know, give a, uh, you know, a, a near term bounce in the commodities, namely gold and silver. But you know how we do it. We'll keep you posted and updated. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter, Crypto Charts Joe, and uh, check out the 50% off uh, micro introduction to micro futures uh, trading course below. And we will see you on the charts.